Hi, I'm Ken, and just like you, I'm a modern astronomer. Everything I do is EAA, and I have not looked through my telescope in a long time using an eyepiece. Um, recently, I found out that uh, I was at a culmination, uh, both in the camera in its native mode and in its hyperstar. So I must have bumped something, I figure, carrying it in and out of the house. Um, since it's raining here in Pennsylvania, I figure I might as well culminate using this Hubble Optics uh, Artificial Stars. Uh, this thing works great. It was a whopping $27. You can see all five lights on right now. Um, Hubble Optics tells you when you use it to put a piece of tape over the front. Uh, however, I have done it both ways with uh, having them all on. And when you uh, go out of focus, you're pretty much rounding it up. You don't have that crisp, crisp, dark spot when you use all of them, but when you tape it up, you get the crisp, crisp, dark spot together. I will show you how to do it and using both the camera in the native mode, which will be one video, and both uh, the camera in the hyperstar mode, which is the second video. Let's get started. All right, so in my last uh, version of this, I culminated using the artificial stars with my camera in the back. So we are at F10 um, and I have an eight inch SCT. On this one, I am using my hyperstar. Um, so like I said, I'm about a 150 feet from my house is where I have that pole. So with the hyperstar, um, First thing I noticed is I had to go to 1 30th of a second and turn my gain totally off, where in the other one I had to use, um, I had it on about 100 gain and I was at uh, one second total. And as you can see, it's not dark out yet. Um, matter of fact, it is 8 o'clock and it's uh, daylight savings time, so it's still pretty light out. So let's, uh, first thing we want to do is do a custom ROI area. I think that's pretty good. So let's do that. Zoom right into it. All right, so there you can see the piece of tape I put on it so that you only see one of the stars that are on it. And let's go ahead and uh, defocus a little. Let's see how my hyperstar is. So we immediately see the hyperstar is off. Um, I just got done culminating with the uh, regular. So you can see the wire on the hyperstar. Um, just like before, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and put that on. Um, and I think I'm going to because... I think there's some added value to using this. All right, so now with the Hyperstar, I'm just gonna play around with the uh, settings and get it direct. But like I said, uh, the key things in the other video that I should repeat on this one, I'm using CPWI. Um, whatever you want to do to control your mount is totally up to you. You can use the hand controller. You can use Nina. You can use the uh, Celestron app on your phone, whatever you feel like. The key thing, though, is to disable tracking. If you leave tracking on your artificial star is going to be bouncing across your screen. You're not going to really be able to do it. So let's use this. That way I can use my focuser and um, move them out any way that I need to use. All right. So hopefully you got something out of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead first. I'm going to pause this while I do this work. So you don't have to watch me do this. But basically, I'm just going to move the screws around. All right. I'm done. What I think is a good culmination. Um, again, this was with the Hyperstar. Um, it took me a little longer than I thought it would. Uh, I ended up uh, at a half a second. If we're, I started off at, at 30th of a second and just kept moving up. 
Right now, this is at a half of a second. It is now 821. Um, I had to loosen up the big thick screws um, and then use the small ones. Um, there's a tutorial on the Starzona website showing you which screws to turn. Um, but after loosening up the big ones, I was able to use the small ones and then firmed up and kept it tight with the uh, big ones. So as you can see, it is raining a little bit and uh, kind of windy, and that's what the turbulence is that you're seeing. Obviously, you can see the star, I mean, the cable right in there. Do not have the cooler on. But I think all in all, that's going to be pretty good. Uh, the Hyperstar, I have learned the culmination on it does not need to be near as perfect as it needs to be when you're in uh, normal mode with your telescope um, at F10. But again, this is uh, zero seconds or zero uh, gain and uh, one five hundredths of a millisecond, so a half a second. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty much in the middle, played with it a little bit. Hope you got something out of this. Uh, so again, we use the artificial stars. Um, everything came out pretty good, as you can see right there. Again, I'm Ken. I'm a modern astronomer just like you. Everything's about EAA. Hope to see you again.